Uh, hello everyone, and welcome back to Ticket Builds. Uh, on this episode we are going to be making uh, the wood chopper. And if we have time we shall uh, implement it so we can get torches out of it. Uh, this is the stuff that I need. Uh, well, a couple of deployers for the saplings and the bone meal, uh, block breakers to break the uh, uh, the trunk, and a couple of transposers to gather the saplings from the ground. I also need a counter, a timer, a toggle latch, and a bunch of other things, tubing, uh, chest for the logs, and uh, red alloy wire and redstone repeater, probably. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, I will probably place it in, in here. Oh, let's give it some room. So one over there. And uh, first, let's place the, uh, the deployers. So the first one goes here. The second one in here. And then I will. Plant the uh, the place the uh, block breakers. So this one, this deployer contains the uh, uh, the seeds, and this one the uh, bone meal. Uh, sorry, the saplings and the bone meal, and the block bre block breakers goes like this. So seven in total. Okay, then I'm going to place a block on top of it and a block towards the uh, tree. So there's a one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So that's how tall the tree is going to grow. Uh, the seven is the uh, normal tree. If I don't have that, uh, the tree will probably uh, at some point grow over that and make the uh, branches and I don't want that. Okay, so let's place a block for the uh, for the lever, and let's wire these. So uh, the uh, sapling will be placed first, and the uh, bone meal uh, after that. Uh, I will create a. a machine or, or, or a circuit that will mm, not like that, but like this, oh, wrong one uh, like that uh, a circuit with which will uh, 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 power the uh, bone meal deployer several times so with that we g get the tree to grow because this block breaker tower is so close to it so it won't grow with just one uh, bone meal so the timer will be set to let's say half a second and then we will add not like that but like this the counter so what does th this does is <coughs> I set it to 15 and the decrement to 15. So whenever the, uh, the uh, counter receives a redstone signal, it will count uh, one up until it's uh, sorry until it's uh, count maximum count is 15 or and then this. Uh, uh, what's it called? Output will be powered, and that will stop so uh, the uh, timer, and this will power the uh, deployer really fast. Okay, and now when the uh, counter has reached the limit of the 15, uh, I need to move it one block to here. The uh, and let's set it to 15. This one will be turned on, so that will uh, 
do a couple of things. It will s uh, reset the the uh, or or dec just uh, do this decrement, which I set to 15, so it will c create a loop. And then I shall uh, let's get it over here. I'll make a loop around this to get the toggle latch to uh, another position. Is this incorrect? Yes, it is. So let's try that again. Now, like this. Okay. Now I I will sleep over the night. Okay. Now, when this uh, switch will be turned on, this one uh, wire will be powered, and it will s flip. Oh, this is the normal. But sorry, it's this one. Uh, this goes to the wrong place uh, over here. So this uh, lever will be switched to this side. Uh, the timer will start and will hit the bone mill uh, several times uh, fast. And this counter will uh, count to 15 and then it will reset itself from here to zero and also send power to this uh, side of the toggle latch and it will stop the timer. And when I flip the switch, you see what I mean. Uh, did I wire this incorrectly? I think it's it's good. So th the counter counts to 15 and then sends a signal to here and which toggles this and w it will stop the uh, timer. So once again flip the switch and counter will count to 15 and then send the signal to the toggle latch and stop the machine. like so. Okay, I will play some... Oh, I need to uh, wire the block breakers. Oh, this one... I, oh, uh, yeah, yeah it's, it's correct. So the block breaker will be activated when this wire gets powered. So when the uh, all the bone meal has been placed and the tree has grown, I will take the power from this one or from here, since it's the same wire. And we will go like this, and how do I avoid the uh, bone wheel? Hmm. If I go like this, it will connect to the bone wheel. Uh, bone wheel 1. So I do I need to go uh, I need to go this side. It's not going to look pretty if I do that. How can I go underground? Oh, it connects to the... Um, I'm going to, do to uh, figure this out and I'll be right back. <coughs> okay, so I wired it uh, through here. It probably doesn't matter if the uh, bone mill deployer will get activated once when the bl uh, when the block breakers activate so uh, I don't think that that it's going to matter next we can test it I'm gonna grab some saplings and a bunch of bone meal like that and let's try it I can probably use a button which would will look nicer and I don't have to flip it, it twice so I will get the... do I have one in here? 
Yeah, it's a bunch of like that and the uh, back and let's try it. So there's the uh, sapling and the bone mill is being hit there and then the block breaker gets hit and pushes the uh, wood out. Like that. And destroys the leaves. So now we can either wait for the leaves to uh, disappear or decay or we can do it again. Like that. Uh, I can also, uh, and I will probably do it through that, uh, I'm going to still switch this to a lever and set the timer here so that the, uh, when the, uh, uh, the machine is on the timer will automatically uh, deploy uh, uh, start this machine and it will automatically create the trees but uh, I will probably do that some other time if we don't have the time so let's pipe these so we can get them to a chest and I will I should have placed this one more back so I could hide everything but yeah, I probably still can yeah. Well, let's hope that these leaves don't grow in here, the outside of the wall, but if they do, there's nothing I can do about it. So let's try it again. And let's see if we get the wood to the pneumatic tubing, and there they go. I need to change that to a stair, so I can, uh -huh. so, sorry, <laughs> that was a bit too much, and the stair there, and a couple more blocks. Okay, so that's done. Uh, all now we need to worry about is the saplings, <coughs> which fall from the uh, decay, if we let these to decay before applying it again. This uh, mm, uh, saplings are easy to gather so uh, but to make it full automatic I will probably do that but I will check the time on this episode and see if we do it this uh, on this episode or on another one. So I'll be back. Okay we, <coughs> we were 12 minutes in so I won't do the transposer thing right now, but uh, I will leave it to another episode or uh, uh, improvement episode. I have a couple of ideas for the uh, uh, existing machines. Uh, but w maybe we could uh, change the uh, use the timer for the uh, uh, for the whole machine so that the, a, a lever controls whether the uh, machine is on or off. So oh, I. Necessary, unnecessary remove those, so I will uh, go like this, there's a bit uh, the room is a uh, I don't have any room for the uh, timers, but uh, let's flip this so we can uh, stop the timer okay, and I will probably make it so that every 30 seconds something happens or this machine gets turned on uh, oh, maybe we could test it with uh, 20 seconds and if I flip this on is it working? Oh, it takes the 20 minutes, uh, seconds. Uh, uh, in case anyone's wondering why I'm flying, uh, this is not the creative mode. Uh, I have a sweet full friend in gate. 
that uh, enables me to fly. So it works. Okay, and now when the 20 seconds passes, another tree should grow. And if I want the leaves to get decayed before uh, I create another tree, tree uh, I can set that to a longer period. And sometimes, sometimes this happens. Uh, let's try one minute. Uh, the uh, bone mill doesn't uh, work on the sapling, so it gets pulled. Uh, the block breaker breaks the sapling. The space is so crowded that the uh, the tree doesn't always grow. But uh, it it helps when we, when we let the leaves to decay. I don't know if I will remove this uh, one blade, one block back, this whole thing, uh, just to make it look nicer, but I will do that some other time. There we go. And then there's the off switch. Now it should be stopped, it is. And then let's get a, a sign, like we always do. And by the way, this is the crafting table 3. It's, it's super awesome. Uh, it sh shows what you can create with the stuff that you have in the, uh, in the inventory. So where to place it? Let's call it the wood chopper. Like that. Okay, this episode is wrapped. Uh, I hope you liked it. Uh, if you did, please like, favorite, or subscribe. And uh, the next episode is probably gonna be uh, where I uh, Im implement some improvements to the existing machines. I al also have an idea for the chicken coop, but uh, th that's probably going to be a whole new episode. Okay, thanks for watching.